Hi, and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section, we're going to switch gears from the fractions work that we've been doing recently. We're going to start getting into really what you would start to consider the nuts and bolts of algebra and pre-algebra. That's where we'd start talking about variables uh, and expressions. And later on, we'll get into equations and other things that you typically think of when you think of algebra. But we have to crawl before we can walk. And actually, believe it or not, in some previous sections, I've sort of already introduced you to this a little bit as we've gone along here uh, with some of these concepts. But here we're going to hit it, you know, full force. And so give you the full force and, and, and really open it up to you and tell you what it's all about. So in algebra, a lot of times, and we've talked about this before, a lot of times you're solving for something you don't know. Maybe there's a the speed of a baseball. You throw a baseball, you don't really know how fast it goes, you know, maybe you drop something off of a tower, you're not sure how fast it's going when it hits the bottom, but there's some sort of, uh, you know, expression or an equation or something that describes how fast that thing is moving, and so using the math you can sort of figure out what it's going to do in the future, and so, you know, by using different values of time or something, you can figure out what something's going to do in the future. So you have the concept of a variable, and that's just something you don't know the answer to right now, but it's something that you can solve for to find the answer for whatever problem it is you're trying to do. Maybe we're trying to construct a building. Maybe we want to see how strong that building is going to be. Maybe we're trying to build an airplane. The airplane has a certain amount of lift. We're trying to figure out how much lift it's going to have. That's a variable. We don't know what it is, but we set everything up and we solve the math to figure out what the answer is and solve for our variable. So a variable, because you don't know what it is, we represent it by a letter. Uh, you can use any letter you want to. Uh, you can use you know, T for time, you can use S for speed, you could use V for velocity, but a lot of times in algebra we end up using X a lot, and that's just sort of by tradition. So in your books you'll see X and you'll see Y a lot, and you'll see T and you'll see Z, but you can use any letter you want. It doesn't matter. It's just a variable. It's an unknown number. But just remember, every time you see one of those letters, it's just a number that you don't know the answer to yet. So, this section we're going to start dealing with what we call expressions, uh, which are just, uh, you know, things that we write down in algebra that involve variables. So let's get right into that. If I gave you an expression, and don't let the term expression bug you, it just means something we're writing down in terms of algebra. 2 times x plus 1. We write the 2 and the x next to each other because they're multiplied. So 2x plus 1. Now, what if I told you if uh, x is equal to 1, then what would this be uh, equal to? In other words, here is something involving an unknown number. But then I went ahead and told you what the unknown number is. x is equal to 1. x could be anything. It could be the speed of a spaceship. It could be the height above the ground. Whatever you're solving for. But in this case, we know it's equal to 1. So what you do is you just take it and you just plug it right back into its position in this little expression here. So we have 2 times x, but x is equal to 1. So we substitute the 1, and then we have to add 1 at the end. Now here's where your knowledge of order of operations comes. We know we have to do multiplication first. So 2 times 1 is 2, and then we still have to add this 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, and that's the answer. So in this section, we're going to be doing problems of this type, just to drill it home to you. You're given an algebraic expression. This is the thing with the variable, and I'm giving you the answer. I'm telling you what the variable is equal to. You need to calculate what the mat, you know, what the final answer will be, given that you know what the variable is equal to. And that's really all we're going to do in this section, just to get you comfortable seeing some expressions uh, and so on. What if you add 2x plus 1, so same expression, but x is now 